Hi, this will be a short series of short videos on React and Redux. React is a library by Facebook that um, is used for building user interfaces, and Redux is an application state, you know, container or management. Um, they call it a a uh, what do they what do they say here? They say it's a predictable state container for JavaScript applications. Think about it this way, though. Um, Redux is meant for application state. So rather than having, you know, um, bits and pieces of information spread out throughout your program, uh, Redux allows you to gather all those together and put them in one place and make them available to everything in your program, right? Um, and it, it, Redux is a, takes a little bit of setup. So I'm going to go through each of the steps to get it working. Um, and once you get it, it, it seems like a lot of work, but once you get it set up, it actually makes it very easy to move forward and add new features to your app and, ve and very makes it also a lot easier to reason about what is happening within your application and, and the state, you know, and how it's, how it's being handled by your application. Okay, so, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to close this and um, open up the terminal here. And what I want to do is I want to create a brand new um, React app. And I'm going to use create React app. So I'll, I'll go to npx um, create React app. And I'll name this uh, React Redux demo. How about that? Oops, wait. I made a mistake. I said React. <laughs> That's all right. I can change the name. Um, so we can see I got my folder here on the desktop here. I'll have to wait for these packages to install. Waiting, waiting. Oh, almost there. Let's see. Um, just a few more seconds. Yeah, so uh, Redux is pretty good. Like once you get it set up, it, it works really well. Um, and there's a couple libraries, like Redux isn't tied to React, but there's a couple NPM packages that make it easier to work with, right? And we're gonna use one of those. I'm actually gonna change the name here because I made a spelling error there. And I'll just make sure that we're in that folder again, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to um, import uh, Redux. So I'll say, you know, npm install um, Redux. So we'll install Redux. Um, wait a moment while this downloads all of the files. Any moment now. And uh, this is going pretty slow. Um, Redux is actually not a big library, though this would make you think that it was super giant. Um, do, do, do any moment now, just waiting and waiting. I guess it's just checking all of the other packages in the, in the, um, in the node modules thing, right? Um, Okay, almost there. And then we got to import one other library. So Redux doesn't have anything to do with React in particular. You can use Redux with any, you know, any any JavaScript application you want to use it with. Um, but this handles all of the application state management, right? Um, and then we're going to add another package called, um, and I'll do this here, npm install um, React. Redux. So React Redux um, includes a couple components and a couple pieces that let you integrate Redux with React. Well, it looks like I have a uh, something to fix here. There's some sort of uh, you know um, vulner security vulnerability or something, right? So you know maybe I'll I'll do I'll run this npm audit fix here. I know that's going to take another couple seconds, right? But let's, let's just do that and get it out of the way. Um, okay. 
Okay, I think this is pretty good. And so now I'm gonna open this up in, in Atom. So this is my project here. So let's talk about like what's gonna be involved with, um, with React, okay? So, um, and, and Redux, right? So Redux has a couple pieces that we need to get into place to get it working, okay? Um, one of them is, is called Actions, and then there's also Action Creators, and then the other one is called a reducer, okay? So we're gonna have to define all of these things. In the Create React project, um, all of the files you create must go into the source folder. So why don't we just set up a couple folders in here to get started. So I'm gonna make a, a new folder. I'm gonna call it Actions, right? And I'll put my actions in there and my action creators. And then I'll make another folder and I'll call it reducers, and I'll put all my reducers in here. So these are both in the source directory. And you know, while I'm at it here, maybe I'll, to keep organized, I'll make a new folder called components, right? And then I'll put all my components in here. And let's test the, the demo app to make sure it's working. So I'll do npm start. So I went back to the terminal, and I'm in the folder with the, with the React Redux demo, and I'll run npm start. And this will take a second, but it'll build the app and then start it up, right? Um, yeah, sure. Let, let it talk to Chrome. And then it should run at localhost 3000, right? Any moment now. Sorry, this video is a lot of watching the, the stuff load in the terminal. But anyway, there's our app is working, right? Let's let's talk about this components thing really quick. So you know what I like to do is I like to organize my components and when things you know go together, I put them in a folder. So the app JS and app CSS are really part of the same component. They share the same name and they're, this fi CSS file is used inside app JS. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new folder inside components called app and then I'll move app CSS and app JS into the, um, the app folder. And that will break my application. It'll say like, hey, you know, um, no such file or directory, you know, in, um, you know, app JS, right? So it can't import um, whatever file it's looking for. So let's fix that, right? So probably index JS is looking for app and it can't find it here right, because it's not, it's no longer in the same directory. So why don't we um, help it out, right? So I'm gonna say um, slash uh, components slash app slash app, right? Oh wait, I got it wrong, let's see. Oh yeah, now it can't resolve logo SVG, right? So let's fix that. So logo SVG is out here, and if I'm in the apps, folder here you can see I've got uh, you know I can get app CSS because it says app slash but um, logo SVG is actually up one folder and then two folders so I got to do a dot dot slash and a dot dot slash maybe oh there we go and everybody's working okay so now we're all set up to work with um, react and Redux together. And in the next video, we'll start building out the parts and, and get our, our app constructed, okay? So thanks for watching.